Yo, you just gave a master's class um, in so many different things, but I'm open because again, like you're talking, you're talking about a catalog, music specifically. This can be any type of catalog. It could be your art catalog. Um, yeah. It, it could be sneaker catalog, whatever it might be. Who knows what mm -hmm. it is that you're into, that you possess uh, that's worth a little something. You you broke that thing down so dope. And and, and it was one part. I tried to stop you, but you was you was on such a, 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 <laughs> a, a tangent right there. I was like, yo, let him go. But for anybody, especially artists, Understand when 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 you if a producer give you a beat off rip, he own fifty percent, you own fifty percent. But there might be other writers involved. You know, maybe you signed to a production company. By the time you done, you might own twenty five percent of that song. So it's not always what you think. Where you, it's almost never what you think. Where you own a hundred percent of a catalog and to your point, we don't know, because I think this might've went over some people's head. You know, we don't know, maybe maybe his his catalog, maybe he got 2%. Maybe, maybe he and got- Some of it already and they getting the other half and we just not seeing this. Like, we don't know what the news is. We don't know nothing, bro. You know what right. I'm saying? You, they asked for 50%. What if he had already sold 50 to somebody else a long time ago and only yeah. half it? Of of this, and then like I said, we talking about numbers in 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 the music business, bro. Hundred percent, they could be talking about hundred percent of one percent. There you go. They there don't. Go. We don't know that, but the news and the PRs can make it move and groove like it groove. Like I said, people sent it to my DM, like go get your money, Mark. <laughs> talking all crazy. I understand it. You know what I'm saying? That's super dope for the lawyers and all that. But man, nah, man, nah, man. Quick count people bread, bro. Y'all don't know what it is, and then to the artist, go get your go get your money, man. Don't wait on nothing. Don't wait on nothing. Get all the advances that you can get. Don't be like, man, I'm gonna get mine. I was smart enough to get mine on the back end. No, because you don't know what they're gonna do. They've been to shelf you and all that. Get your money now, because that money you ain't gotta pay back. You don't owe them nothing after that. They make it seem like you're in the red and all that, but they ain't finna go to court and get you a write off. It's a wrap. They cool with that. You. They just don't want to do no more. They know when to stop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Labels know when to stop spending on you. That's all. They they good at that. They not good at they not good at collecting. It's so dope. That's they, so dope. That's so dope. He said they know when to stop spending on you. Damn yeah, that's dope. No, nah, cut them off. It's it's done. It's a wrap. Too much. I can't. Oh uh, man, I need it. No, can't do nothing. Ain't no money. Ain't no money there. They know how to stop it. That's what you're seeing. You're seeing people stop spending. So get your money on that beginning end and don't have no regrets about it. Don't care. Get your money, man. Okay. Um, you know, we 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 spoke about family in several different um points of this conversation. How's your brother Kiwan doing? Oh, uh, Kiwan, great, man. He great, he great. He um he want he's still in St. Louis. He um getting it in. We got the you see me clothing. Uh that's that's he been trendsetting and that shit. I'm watching other t-shirt companies and all types of stuff. Just steal our little styles and all types of stuff so fast. That's how I know Kiwan been the trendsetter from the jump. So we just we just working on that, um, trying to bring that into full stream. We was moving from merching from merch to to real fashion a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Cause it was mm -hmm. coming like everybody had kind of looked at our like our you see me as a label. So people was like, if I'm buying that merch from them, I'm kind of like just representing their label. But we turned it into what it needed to be turned in so it can actually, you know, be respectable on in the uh, fashion world. So we got some dope stuff coming. It's going to be super dope. Uh, you see me merchandise.com. Uh, yeah, no, you see me. I'm sorry. You see me marketplace.com. You see me marketplace.com. You see M E. You see me marketplace.com. And you see me stands for you can't make excuses. I love that. That's dope. Um, where can people catch up with you and find out all that you're doing and working on today? Oh man, I had a when we just did that last interview, I had my yep. uh my website was acting retarded. I just got it fixed. Um, so it's it's newmurf.com. 
that'll get you to everything, all my projects and um, the documentaries that I drop. Um, this is my 20 year anniversary for Murphy's Law. So we're doing some big stuff this year. Um, September 23rd, St. Louis. Um, September 16th, we're doing um, South Carolina, Charleston, South Carolina. And we're setting up a couple more. I think we got Charlotte right there behind that. And we also got uh, Chicago and Indianapolis. So we're going to do about 10 to, to uh, it's uh, it's called the Murphy Lee Experience. It's, um, it's for my 20 year anniversary. It, uh, it's comedy, hip hop, R&B, live band, DJs, the whole night is a straight show. It's super dope. Uh, hosted by myself and um, and we do some stuff, man. Murphy with a live band be pretty fun, man. And so, and it's super dope. Um, but yeah, it's the 20 year anniversary for Murphy's Law, man. We made it to 20, man. So we we gonna we gonna celebrate this year. No, you gotta celebrate. What a, what a dope milestone, bro. Real talk. What a dope milestone. You make it to New York, you gotta reach out. I, Definitely. I, I'm definitely there. Definitely. Murph, it's always my pleasure, brother. Like th these conversations never go as I plan, but they always are more than I expect. Like I really enjoy sitting and chopping it up with you. I love listening to your perspective. And I told you, you got a, you got a whole nother career in you, man. Like real talk. Um, I, I think that people really need to sit and listen to your words and you need to, to, to get out there. I know you're doing what you're doing, but um, your, your mentoring game, um, your your ability to teach and break things down to 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 such a palatable um, level to where people can digest and hear it in a way that they could receive it, man. You 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 spit second to none. So keep up the great work, my brother. Congratulations on the twenty year anniversary. And until we do it next time, much love and continued success. I uh, appreciate you, bro. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.